severe ice age storm. The violent weather has kept them pinned under their boat for two weeks. They've hardly eaten and are half starved. And they are concerned about Giard. He has symptoms of a disease well known to sailors, scurvy. <laughs> The storm may have slowed, but the group is only now about to discover its effects. has crushed the ice flows together. As the summer continues, the ice thins and storms shatter the flow into pieces. The fragments float free, recombine, and break apart again as they twist in a giant whirlpool, taking the young hunters with them. This phenomenon still takes place in Arctic regions today. Broken ice flows are at the mercy of currents and especially the wind. But where are they going? The Gulf Stream drives a current that runs west along the edge of the ice. Combined with the violent storm, it has pushed them rapidly away from Europe. Moving at an average four miles per hour, in just three weeks, they have been pushed 2,000 miles. They are two-thirds of the way to America. Lost in a frozen ocean, the young hunter's boat is now a burden. They have no choice but to drag it. Navigating only by the sun, they head south in the hope of finding open water. The group is now in the harshest and most barren part of the ocean. There's nothing to hunt. They've eaten the last of the seal meat. Worse still, they're dangerously low on fat. When they run out, they'll be unable to melt water and will die from dehydration. Giard's scurvy is severe. Without vitamin C in his diet, his cells are coming unglued. He is slowly bleeding to death within his own skin. Yeah, Ian Kung. She aren't really good. You think I'm the citizen too?
in the Nugang. If you lost the Elden Ring, you. Dear. Dear. Dear Berlin, too! The circumstances have left Guyon and Zia with few options. Prolonging Giard's life only endangers their own. <laughs> but Giard's blood and even his flesh could provide them with nourishment. Thousands of miles from home was a vision like this caused by starvation or madness. One scientist believes he can explain the mysterious appearance of mountains far out in the sea. University of Manitoba physicist Valdemar Lane is a mirage hunter. He searches for these strange phenomena in the Canadian Arctic. People living in Arctic conditions, such as the Inuit or anyone in northern Canada, they're generally very familiar with these mirages. They would see them quite frequently. Lane has recorded many sightings. To explain them, he investigated how light behaves in cold climates. He discovered the ultra-cold temperatures above the surface of an ice sheet actually cause light rays to bend. This means that the impossible is now possible. Objects